Hey, what's going on guys? Are you ready for a little Taylor Swift mine? I know I'm ready. This one's a good one. Easy chords, just a lot of changes. So stay with it. I know you can do it. Um, it's a great song. It's a great song. You know, if I ever met Taylor Swift, I would use it. I'd say Taylor, because she's like, I think three times taller than I am. I'd say Taylor, you write great songs. And then she'd probably pat me on the head and that I could die happy then. So just wanted to share that with you. That's what I would say. She writes great songs. Let's do mine, starting on C. Then we move to G and then D. This is your intro and your verse. So it's two beats of C. One, two, G, D. Two, three, four, one, two. And I'm just doing downstrokes. What I like about this song is it's very driving and you can play it that way. It's not it's not like fluffy. You can you can play a little more aggressive. So just downstrokes. So that's your intro and your verse. Let's go to the chorus, which is pretty much the same thing, except for even a little bit easier, because uh, you've got C, a bar of C, G, D. And now here's the coolest part of the chorus. They do like these hits on the, on the quarter notes on one, two, three, four. So you've got C, two, three, four. I'm still doing downstrokes. D, you can do hard hits on E minor, one, two, D. Oh god, I just love that. Two. Two. And then resolve to C for the uh, the re-intro. So then you're back to the verse, and then you go to the chorus. Now we're gonna do the bridge. Now the bridge is cool because again we have these accents, and that's what makes music really cool when we have these hits and accents because uh, as you're noticing with these videos, the chords are pretty much the same, especially when you have the capo. We're just doing a lot of C's and A's and G's and E minors. So what makes, what makes music so cool then, if it's the same chords over and over again? Uh, it's, the, it's the amount of energy that you put into the arrangement and you can tell with Taylor Swift songs that there's a lot of that going on. So with this bridge part, we're gonna do something that's called anticipating, which means playing the chord before the beat that you think that it's gonna be on. So normally we do changes like maybe one, two, and then we change on three and four. But this time we're gonna anticipate. So we're gonna do one, two, and, there's the change, three, four, and. Let me show you instead of running my mouth. So we're gonna do C, G, D just like the verse, but here's what keeps it fresh, is you're gonna do uh, C, one and two and three and four and one and two, three, four, C, G, D. Let's slow it down a little bit. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Really practice that. You'll be able to hear it when you play along with the track. Um, but it's really important to give it that lift, to give it the drive. Here's the kind of climax of the song. It's when they're fighting and there's so much tension and anticipating it makes it have a little bit more tension because you're not expecting it to come for the chord to come so early. Look at that, I'm running my mouth again. Do that twice, this, the C to, to G to D with the anticipations, and then we're into the second half of the bridge. Again, we're driving it, we're going for E minor, C, D, stay on D, E minor, Now we're going back to the anticipations. One and two and three and four and I just did a little variation of G. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and then again it resolves to that C. We hang out there. Okay, last part. No new chords. We're just gonna run over 
the uh, outro, okay? Same thing as the chorus, because it's like the chorus outro, just, just a couple little tiny things. We're gonna go back to the anticipation. I think once you get the basic idea of the song, you'll totally be able to do it, because you'll hear the changes. You're, you'll hear when it anticipates, and you'll hear when uh, it, it's right on the beat. So the outro, we've just got the chorus, C. Do those hits, E minor, D, C, G, D, stay on D. And for the last part of the song, back to the anticipation. This is a great, 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 great beginner song because it has enough, even if you're familiar with the chords, it has enough rhythmically challenging things going on that it's still a little bit tricky even for like an intermediate. Uh, so, man, go after this one. Remember, Taylor Swift, you write good songs. All right, let me know if you have any questions. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more songs, check out these videos. Also, check out mahalo.com slash play guitar. Yeah.